Hi everyone, this is Fagun Shah from Integration Lab. Today we are going to see a very interesting use case or a custom app, a free custom app. So basically many people complained about like they don't have any place to store their files which can give them the direct URL for that particular file whether it is an image or whether it is an uh, video or if it is a PDF document kind of files right so one option is to host in in your WordPress but not all people have WordPress okay now the issue specially happens when you want to send those files via uh, you whatsapp 360 dialog apis or uh, public integration or maybe via gmail action as a pdf attachment so they don't allow you to directly use uh, google drive files sometime right now as a solution for that there was a app called cloudinary there is a app called cloudinary uh, integrated in public connect already but issue with the cloudinary is that they don't support the pdf kind of documents plus there is only one action available for cloudinary in public connect right so what i went with was the imagekit.io which gives very generous free tier which is 20 gb bandwidth and 20 gb of media storage right and that should be enough for most of the people i guess uh, who are just starting out and then you can if you want you can move to the paid plans right now let's talk more about the custom app okay so sorry this was not uh intended so let me close uh, this one and uh, yeah uh here i am just uh, using a google drive folder to list out all the content or files inside that particular folder right and let me just close some of the extension so it gives me better performance yeah and let me refresh the workflows as well yeah so basically uh, I am listing a content just to get the file IDs. Okay, now this folder is already publicly shared, right? Now uh, I can use this kind of format, okay, to send the files via WhatsApp Cloud API. But the issue is this format doesn't work very well with the 360 dialog, and it gives you, it doesn't send you the SMS, uh, sorry, the WhatsApp message, but it still shows the success when you use it with the 360 dialog, right? So people are not receiving the message but you are still not seeing any errors on backend right so that is a big issue so what i am doing is i can just upload that google drive file okay in this particular format which is directly from google you don't need to use a special format for that and you can upload it as per your liking and it will give you the public file url something like this okay and this can be accessible i am not sure if i have deleted this file or not Okay, yeah, I haven't and yeah, here you can see the file. It is password protected, so I will close it. <laughs> yeah, uh, then the next step is again like sending the template message with this particular image public URL, right? And it works. Let me just do a save and send test request for you. And here you can see that I have received one message here and the PDF file is available in here. Okay, so that works as well. Let me just save it for you uh sorry for my gaming collection i will just replace it i will just open it again and yeah it works very well with this thing okay now let me take you through the whole integration one by one action okay so one is uh, in case you want to do a search or list the files okay all the files available in your account you can use this simple action right and another the main one is the upload file so basically you can upload it uh, you can upload mp4 you can upload pdf documents you can upload csv documents you can upload gpg png kind of images as well right now there are multiple options first you need to pass the file name with the extension okay maybe it is image extension or document extension or video extension right then you need to select if you want it unique file name or not what does this mean exactly so it means that you need to uh, let's suppose you upload the same uh, name file again and again then it will replace it automatically if this is set as a false right so make sure you always set this as a true so it will always generate a new unique name for each file you are uploading okay then we are applying the tags as well here okay and we are giving the folder path right let me show you my structure in the here so if i go to home here is the folder structure so i am passing the image in folder 2 
right and this is the latest pdf i uploaded and if i click on tags you can see the tags i applied in here right so okay let me close this workflow as well let me go to this here you can see the tags i have applied right is private should always be false in your case in case you want it to save it properly in a secure place so no one can access via link then make sure you set this as a true right and let's go to next in case you want to get details from a one particular file you can use this section right let me just replace this from the above action okay it was already replaced so let me click a save and send test request button and right it gives you the tags it gives you the version number a non-image kind of file because it is a pdf right so you can get the type as well you can get the size as well you get the path as well right so everything is available you can get the thumbnail as well and you get the direct url as well right so all the necessary details are currently available then in case you want to delete any file after uploading so i do that a lot to save the storage space so basically if i am generating any new images constantly then i will upload it to uh, imagekit.io imagekit.io uh, and then i will just delete it after some time right so for now it is let's say okay let me do a refresh here uh, okay let's uh, delete this uh, mp4 file okay now 204 means success so it has already deleted that file now in case you want to create a folder you can do that as well so let's suppose you are generating files for different clients right and you want to save it for a particular client in a particular folder then you can use this uh, action right let's say folder 3 and let's not pass anything so it will uh, it should create it on the home like folder 3 so let's go home and folder 3 is here right so this is how it works and let's see the other one okay so now you want to delete the folder in case uh, then you can do that as well so let's do folder 3 we don't want any anymore now make sure you always keep a backup for that folder before you delete it because it will delete whether there are images inside or documents inside it or not okay so please take a backup properly before you do the delete action right in case if it is required okay so yeah basically i have added total of six section for this custom app and yeah this is my submission for public custom app challenge december 2022 as well right so yeah uh, let me know i will uh, put a link in the public connect facebook group post as well in the video description as well right so make sure you access the app properly and yeah let me know if you have any doubts or anything like that okay i will keep updating this app in future if someone requires anything else extra okay thank you bye bye see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel bye